seventeen year old female who's a wonderful young lady who had suffered from long lasting heartburn that doesn't matter what she's done couldn't help the symptoms and it was affecting her daily life activity school attendance and physical activity sports social gathering in a significant way so they wanted further input in her and when they come when they came to my clinic for the workup it happened to notice I happened to notice that she also have mild anxiety We did do the uh, pharmacogenomics testing with the understanding that we will try to find out if she's one of those patients who would require a different medication or a significantly higher dose to suppress the heartburn if the heartburn is truly related to gastroesophageal reflux disease. And at the same time, we'll look at her other uh, pharmacogenomics that could be affecting her anxiety. And the, the, the fascinating information where, yes, she was a rapid metabolizer, so she required a higher dose. And also, part of the pharmacogenomics, we realized that the anxiety medicine that she's on was not working well. She needed either a completely different medicine or a much significant higher dose. Um, that took us into the cascade where we talked to her primary care provider, who talked to her psychiatrist, while we're working on the acid reflux management, she got her anxiety medication changed. And soon after, her heartburn completely disappeared. Um, she became very, uh, went back to her normal life, um, enjoyed her school and physical activities and sports and social events. And actually, when I saw them for a follow-up, she was able to wean off anti-acid therapy. And she's doing terrific. Um, that was um, a very good ending, and I really, think the, the key point was the pharmacogenomics that help us guide her management in GI and an outside GI.